Where's the groceries at? SGC here, and today's movie review is Fast and Furious 6. Or Fast 6. Directed by Justin Lin, starring Vin Diesel, Paul Walker, Dwayne Johnson, Michelle Rodriguez, Jordana Brewster, Tyrese Gibson, Chris Bridges, Sung Kan. Luke Evans, and Gina Carano. It is the sixth installment in the Fast and Furious, like, franchise. And if you did not know, the timeline is actually Fast and Furious 2, 4, 5, 6, 3, and then 7. So yes, there is a actual Plan 7, and they actually show things that they are actually planned, so do stay behind the credits, or not even the credits, just the last warning sign of do not try to, like, drive like us message, and you'll see, and then you'll see the lead up to installment number 7. So, the plot line, it's pretty much Dwayne Johnson has a problem, and he's like, Vin, dude! You guys are so good at your jobs, even though you're now in some place that I can't arrest you for. Can you help me out? And Vin is all like, why would I do that? Well, actually, Michelle Rodriguez ain't dead. And then Vin's all like, let's do this thing. And then things happen and happen and happen. So, Fast and Furious. Some would say this is a dumb movie for dumb people. Some would say this is a great film for filming fast cars and making it not look goofy. I would say this film is fun. Pretty Bad does not even describe it as it is just fun to see cars going around and like girls fighting it out and freaking monkeys charging each other pretty much or apes. Gorillas. Gorillas charging at each other. Juice monkeys, as they call them. I recently rewatched Fast Five just to remind myself of what's the lead up to Six. And I would have to say, Six and Five comparison, Six has better like flow and like not as corny lines, but Five has the better plot and the usage of characters. There were a lot of characters in 6 that were just there and you didn't really see why they were needed except for the fact that they were a team and a family. Luke Evans plays the big bad dude and he is like, like I didn't know that or I forgot that he was Zeus in Immortals and he actually looks like Orlando Bloom in Zeus but not so much here with that haircut so that's kind of cool. He sort of reminded me of that weird guy in Iron Man 3 that had all the powers but was not Guy Pierce, whatever his name was. He was in Pacific. Gina Carreno was pretty amazing here. She was hot and like masculine. Is a masculine feminine or she was just a badass and I totally enjoyed it here which is weird because I actually enjoyed her here as a side character compared to her like main protagonist role in Haywire. Maybe I really need to rewatch that movie and not just skip through it. But she is a lot hotter here for sure. There's a lot of vehicular vehicular warfare going on and it's not that crazy because I have to say if you're just drivers that don't have that much manpower on your car that you just chase after criminals and don't really try to run them off the road. It's not very convincing as you are helping the cops. I mean, you got Drain Johnson riding like a 4x4 four four Hummer thing. And then you have Vin Diesel in a BMW going at the same speed, chasing this like F1 alliteration of a car. And yet, it's like The Rock and Vin Diesel are really next to each other. So why do you hire Vin Diesel? Storyline is pretty much just normal, I guess. Bad guy gets own spoiler alert if you were expecting some craziness, but no. Acting, I think it's a lot better. There were corny nines, but not as much as five. Um, really, it is just a fun film as in you watch and then you forget. So that's why I'm doing this review right away. Though now they have a lead up to seven. And it looks like it's a pretty crazy thing starring s some unknown transporter, actually. And yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how that goes on with how the transporter is now into the mix. Because he's the only action star out there for a cast and role like this. As cool as everything was, the racing is not the emphasis here again and I would have to say as a storyline this is a weaker film than the fifth one at least the fifth one had a purpose rather than this random like manhunt that really wasn't a manhunt as Luke Evan is only there when he wants you to find him 
And yeah, trailer are misleading for sure. There's some action sequences that feels like, oh my goodness, that's a must see in the theaters. But it's actually edited from different scenes, so trickery, trickery, trickery. Anyway, I would not have called this as far as dumb movie for dumb people. It was just a fun, don't think about anything, just go like, ooh, fast cars, butts, girls that can't wear appropriate hot hire, and just juice monkeys. Juice monkeys fight was pretty interesting. I totally like, I was, I was awesome, just like, Pound, 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 with just crazy, crazy, craziness. So that's pretty much it for this Fast and Furious 6. I am totally looking forward to the dumb movie sequel to this, is Fast and Furious 7. As rumored, it is James Wan, director of Saw, that is directing a Furious and Fast 7. So that'll be fun if he brings up some thriller sequences as in, oh, Vin Diesel's locked in a room with the transporter. That'll be interesting for sure. Anyway, that is all for this Fast and Furious 6 movie review. See ya.